So Monday morning, nothing better than, uh, I don't know, dealing with a client who was a former snake breeder when you're terrified of snakes. Dave here wanted to trade two watches for a root beer and pick up some jewelry for his girlfriend, just as long as he didn't bring any of the snakes with him. All right, so I only had uh, two of the rings that you actually were looking for in okay. stock. The other one's uh, God, that's insane. That's insane. Uh, and then the Yacht Master that I'd sent you pictures of, and then the root yeah. beer that we originally were talking about as cool, well. Cool, cool, cool. So, yeah. What's on the restaurant? Ooh. Just that with the time wrong, because it's my my watch. I bit my fingernails too much, so now I can't. Turn. <laughs> <laughs> These are the two that we're trading in, right? Yes, right. yes. And they haven't been polished or, or cool. a, a, anything like that. All right, so, so do you want to try this? On yeah, or? sure, sure, sure. Yeah, sure, right. of course. And then I can size this down if you decide that you want. That's one you want to oh, go I'm with. Definitely going to the size down. Oh, I have yeah. the daintiest wrists <laughs> ever. <laughs> No, it's cool like that. What do you oh, mean? yeah? <laughs> just going to shows with that on, just whipping it around. Yeah, I mean, I've never tried on one with a strap, so I'm interested to see how that will. So the straps are actually very, especially Oyster Flexes. Yeah. Uh, they're an intro for the older references. Really nice. uh, they don't have the, the slide lock. Okay. They actually have micro adjustments in the back. So if you look through, you can actually see where the little pinholes are. Yeah. And that's where you push, you know, and get sizing through. Okay. So I already set it to the smallest size because I wasn't <laughs> sure how small your wrists were going to be. As small as a man's wrist could possibly be. Dude, tell me. I'm literally the second notch on my strap. Yeah, right. so let's try this one on right. and see what you feel about that. That's really nice. Yeah. I'm a big fan of uh, this specific Yacht Master in general. Mm -hmm. um, I really like rose gold pieces and I really like fans, clearly. So, yeah. you know, yeah. an Oyster Flex on a, on a rose gold Yacht Master with just matte black dial it's just a badass and, and this can go with literally anything anything right anything that's still big on you that's insane are they both the same size dial so they're both 40 millimeters this actually has if you put you know two to two it's just a little bit thicker oh yeah, the thickness right. yeah yeah 100%. so that's really 100%. where you you know you're running into the oh well this wears bigger you know what i mean yeah, it's, it's yeah. the same the, pretty much the same size yeah yeah cool so Dave ended up picking up that root beer and a, uh, an emerald ring and an emerald pair of earrings for his girlfriend. Dave, it's a pleasure doing business with you. I'm sure I'll see you again real soon. Dave ended up coming back. Like I said, uh, I would see him again real soon. And uh, like I said earlier, he, uh, he breeds snakes. Well, formerly used to breed snakes. Uh, what I didn't know is that he had an 18-foot reticulated python. That's terrifying. I called Nick about a week and a half ago. I needed to trade in two of my watches, trade it up for the root beer right there, which I love. And then I also needed to get the girlfriend, uh, some stuff for the anniversary, some rings, some necklaces. So here's the necklace that we originally had discussed. That is perfect. Right? That is perfect. So there's that, and then the earrings as well. If you want to pop those out of the bag. What did she think of the, uh, everything else that you gave her? The ring and the Mine. ears? Yeah. Dude, she had no idea. Good. <laughs> it, was, it, it was perfect. And she's 100% Irish, so the green was oh, so it worked out perfect. perfect for her. She hasn't taken it off since. Yeah. She has to argue with herself and not sleep with it on. Well, now she so, has, you know, three other things that she can wear. She's got options. So, of course, Roman had to come down and say hi. Kind of wish that Dave brought a snake for this one. How, How, you? How you doing, man? Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you as well. Nice Dave, to meet you. Obviously, Roman. I yes, know yes. Roman snake charmer. What is your actual name? <laughs> we can go with snake charmer. I'm Dave. Dave, nice to meet you, Adrian. Adrian. Uh, yes, sir. Speaking of snakes, Natalie has a huge snake at home, and we happen to have a client that we dubbed the Snake Whisperer that's very much into snake and has a lot of snakes. So half that meeting and him buying jewelry as well as a couple of watches, he spent talking snakes with Natalie. Never a dull moment here at Luxury Bazaar. So this guy is actually a snake grower, I'm assuming, or? Uh, Hobbyist, I guess. He's a snake hobbyist. Yeah. Can you I, show him a picture I, of yours? I guess you could say that. How many snakes do you have, two? Uh, five right now. Five? And yes. it's a different breed, right? Uh, all reticulated pythons. Uh, do you keep it in... Oh, that's so cool. She's bumblebee. She yeah, is she's true. really pretty. That's yeah. awesome. Uh, she's... Uh, I didn't measure her. Well, how big can that one get? Uh, my should be uh, bigger than my toe. Bigger than my toe. <laughs> I love I love the English language. Should be bigger than my toe. Your height. <laughs> my height. Oh my! Is it yes. yours, right? She was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. my she god. She was amazing. Yeah. 
Oh Holy my shit. god. So what's going on with you on TikTok? Tell me, because I don't know. I don't. I don't even go on TikTok, so I don't. Even, I, do, I don't even have TikTok actually. Do I have T TikTok? TikTok for me. Um, all it took was I've been doing TikTok for like two, two and a half years now. I'd say about two and a half years now, and one video took off. One video took off, and the thing about it is, what how TikTok works is they put you in an algorithm based off of your content. So, for instance, say for instance somebody's a dancer and he tries to do a comedy bit. That comedy bit ain't gonna work. You know what I'm saying? Comedy bit ain't going It ain't gonna fly. And if I, if I'm a comedy guy and I try to do a dance or I try to do something out of my bracket, it's just That's not gonna work. fly. It's just not gonna work. So. I just stuck with comedy the whole way through in a couple of corny videos. And the thing, I'm, the thing about TikTok is they like when you do the same thing, but different variations of the same thing. So you take a video that went viral, you do a, a different version of that in a different way, and that video is going to go viral too. But hmm. it, it's, it's, it's weird. It's weird because I can post something that I think is hilarious. Like my, one of my favorite videos is not a viral video, but the videos that go viral is things that the audience likes. What's your TikTok? It's uh, OMG. It's Nike finesse. Damn. <laughs> I'm not famous. <laughs> I'm just not. Well, let me ask you another question. From a business perspective, how do you monetize that? Like, you got a five million people yeah. following you. How do you monetize so that? So I got a talent yeah, talent manager, but personally, myself, uh, they pay me to post or off of view count. They pay me off of view count. YouTube pays me off of view count. So based on the views, that's how I get paid. As far as monetizing, I have a talent manager that they'll, they'll reach out to brands and be like, hey, to fit this niche, would you work with Nike? Hilarious guy. He wanted to come in, meet us, shoot a couple of TikToks with us. It was strictly out of the goodness of their hearts. They're big on TikTok. We're not. And uh, he did some funny stuff. Alex, please come to my office. Alex, we got a client for you like you wouldn't believe. This guy's a humongous TikToker. He's got like gajillions of followers. She's going to spend tremendous money with you. You can probably sell him a huge watch right now. Go downstairs. They're down there. He's, another, he's down there with another TikTok body of his. Offer him the big stuff, like the expensive, the juicy stuff. He's going to spend a lot of money. Hey man, I'm excited to see what they got, bro. You know what I'm saying? What's up, guys? Oh, what's going on, man? Hey, up? Yeah, it's Nike. Alex. Nike. Nice to meet you guys. I got my bodyguard here, Dennis. Nice yeah. to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, bro. All right, let's go look some watches, man. Check it out. All right, guys, so this is our vault. That is nice. See, we got some pieces out already, actually. Okay, okay. So um, I guess we'll start with this one. This is 1103 McLaren Richard Mule. It's only 500 in the world. You're going to be looking at about 540,000. Okay, what else you got? All right. Richard Mule RM30. It's about 230,000. All right, all right. Um, one, one more? What, what else? What else? All right, I mean, if you want to go with Rolex, this is a Rolex Sky Dweller. Yeah. This is going to be about 50000 uh, okay. I mean, how much, were, how much were you guys looking to spend? Yeah, yeah I was kind of trying to stay around like two hundred. Two hundred thousand. All right. No, no, I was kind of like more like a Casio, you know, G-Shock type. Dollars. Dollars, yeah. Okay. yeah. Wait, wait, don't you think you're being a little rough? Guys, guys, wait, guys, 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 it was a joke. Ah. Yeah, you too, come on. Guys, wait! It's not that deep! Please! Please! Guys! 